Eczema, also known as atopic dermatitis, is a common chronic skin condition that causes inflammation, redness, and itchiness. The condition was first recognized over 2,000 years ago, but it wasn't until the 20th century that dermatologists began to understand the complexities of eczema and its ties to the immune system. Eczema can appear in several different forms, including atopic dermatitis, the most common form, which typically starts in childhood and can persist into adulthood, contact dermatitis, caused by exposure to irritants or allergens, dyshydrotic eczema, which causes small, itchy blisters on the hands and feet, numular eczema, which appears as circular, itchy patches, and seborrheic dermatitis, often seen as dandruff on the scalp or patches on oily parts of the body, like the face and chest. The causes of eczema are not fully understood, but it's thought to result from a combination of genetic and environmental factors. People with eczema often have an overactive immune system that responds to certain triggers in the environment, leading to inflammation. Genetic mutations affecting the skin's barrier function may also play a role, making the skin more vulnerable to irritation and infection. Triggers can include allergens such as pollen or pet dander, irritants like soaps and detergents, stress, or even climate changes. The most common symptoms of eczema include dry, sensitive skin, intense itching, red or inflamed patches, and in more severe cases, thickened or cracked skin. These symptoms can flare up periodically, often worsening due to triggers like cold weather, stress, or allergens. While eczema is not contagious, its symptoms can have a significant impact on quality of life, especially for those dealing with frequent flare-ups. Globally, eczema affects approximately 20% of children and up to 3% of adults. It's more common in industrialized nations, likely due to environmental factors like pollution and lifestyle changes. In countries with Western diets and urban living, cases of eczema are particularly high. The condition is also more prevalent among individuals with a family history of eczema, asthma, or hay fever. When it comes to treatment, managing eczema typically involves reducing symptoms, preventing flare-ups, and repairing the skin barrier. Moisturizers are essential for treating eczema by keeping the skin hydrated and preventing further irritation. Using ointments or creams that are free of fragrances and dyes can help soothe the skin. Topical corticosteroids are often prescribed to reduce inflammation during flare-ups. Antihistamines can help reduce itching, especially at night. For more severe cases, immunosuppressant drugs like cyclosporin or biologic treatments like dupilumab may be recommended by dermatologists. Light therapy or phototherapy can also be effective for treating persistent eczema when other treatments have failed. In addition to medical treatments, lifestyle changes can play a critical role in managing eczema. Avoiding known triggers like harsh soaps, stress, and allergens can prevent flare-ups. Wearing soft, breathable fabrics and maintaining good skincare routines, like moisturizing daily, are key to keeping symptoms under control. Eczema is a chronic condition, meaning that while it may improve over time, flare-ups can still occur. For children, the good news is that many outgrow the most severe symptoms by adolescence, though some may continue to have dry, sensitive skin into adulthood. In conclusion, while there's no cure for eczema, advancements in treatment options and better understanding of the condition have made managing symptoms much easier. With the right combination of treatments and self-care strategies, individuals with eczema can live comfortable, healthy lives. Thanks for your time and support. Stay connected with me to learn more interesting pharmacological studies. Must ask any question or confusion in comment box. Let me know which medicine information you want next. Thank you.